Combat is an integral part of the Star Wars experience, along with a whole bunch of other things like the hero's journey. It's the essence of feeling heroic. We're really striving to progress the way we show combat. And I think MMOs, we're, we're going to take them to a new level in the way the combat unfolds in the older public. Really what we're trying to go for with Star Wars Old Republic is to create a, a sense of combat that it's ex just plain exciting. One of the problems of other MMO combats is um, that you often have scenarios where you have multiple heroes beating on a single enemy. And that just isn't very heroic. What is heroic is a hero facing against um, unbeatable odds, against multiple enemies and fighting his way barely through the encounter. Within minutes of starting the game, you're doing things you wouldn't expect to do in other MMOs. People are seeing flamethrowers going off, Sith warriors flipping, choreographed lightsaber combat. That's all at a low level. You're going to have sticky grenades. You're going to be able to do a stock strike. Jedi's deflecting blaster bolts. Bounty hunters rocketing, you know, with jetpacks, you know, firing missiles down on their opponents. We want you to instantly get in the game and just be having a great time. Something we've tried to do is to get away from that step and repeat type of combat so that when you're playing your character, you, you don't just attack once or, or do, do something where you don't feel like you're actually engaged with the other, with your opponent. You never want to swing a lightsaber, you know, again and again and again in the same pattern because that's not what lightsaber combat is. You should see the same kinds of choreographed moves that you see in the movies. You make active choices about whether or not now's the right time to throw that grenade whether or not you can freeze your opponents, and whether or not you want to charge your weapon up for a really big blast. If you're a player who wants to just get in there and, and wreak havoc, you'd be a, maybe a bounty hunter or a trooper. But if you want to stay back, maybe, and kind of be a more um, behind the, the shadows character. You maybe play an Imperial agent or a smuggler and you're kind of dependent more on range and, and getting the jump on the enemy and it's a little more tactical and careful. Or if you want to play as a force wielder, you could be a Sith or a Jedi. have to make sure that all classes are balanced against each other. All of them have something unique and cool and a, and a key reason why you want to be there. It isn't just Sith versus Jedi at all times, that all classes, all eight of them are competitive and they're all really unique and fun. We wanted to make the player feel like they had all the gadgets and tools at their disposal that they saw in the movies. We know people are going to try to get on you, right? That's what happens. When you're a range class, the melee classes, they want to close on you. So the bounty hunter has a number of really cool tactics at his disposal to make sure that he can get free or that he can do, do damage when somebody's up on him. The first time you go into a situation where the trooper mops his entire party of enemies up with his blaster abilities, I don't want to be a Jedi anymore at that point because I've seen how damaging the trooper can be. We want to make sure that the players get a, a full experience uh, in terms of the different kinds of combat that's out there. What we've done with this combat is really tried to capture the essence of the movies and just the whole Star Wars universe in these classes. We've really asked ourselves, what is it like to play as Darth Vader? What is it like to play as, as Han Solo? And how do you capture that in kind of one experience? And how do you include everything that makes a player feel like they could fulfill any of these key roles in the Star Wars universe? In terms of how we're progressing our abilities and skills in combat in the Old Republic, 
Just remember what we did in Knights of the Old Republic. We're inspired by that, but we're not going to be we're not going to be stopping anywhere near what we did before because this is an MMO. We don't want you to ever feel like you're going to have to find any other kind of game to get the you know, the experience we're we're conveying. It's going to be a, an epic experience for a long time for players.